I'm Ruth Burt. I'm a Virginia Beach master gardener and confirmed plant pathologist. Uh, I want to share with you some information about bringing in house plants and tropicals to prepare them to take in before temps drop before the their legal low limit. We're going to talk about plumeria. This one I brought home from a trip to Hawaii. We're going to talk about tri-star ginger. And we're going to talk about a Swedish ivy. Small, medium, and large, and pretty much any house plant or tropical that you're planning to try to overwinter indoors will follow the same information. First thing is to think about the light levels that you're going to be transitioning into. There's bound to be less light in your home than there has been outside. The advice of the experts is to gradually decrease light for six to eight weeks before you bring plants in. You want to bring your plants in or evening temperatures regularly fall to between 50 and 55. First thing to do to prepare, and keep in mind, it's not a perfect world. I tend to bring plants in at the last minute because I got caught behind the eight ball. First thing to do, though, for my plumeria. First thing we want to do is inspect the plant. You're going to look under and on top of every leaf to see if you find any freeloaders. This plant has been pretty lucky this summer, and I haven't had many bug problems. Spiders are occasionally in some of the supports, but it is what it is. After inspecting all the leaves, you're ready to uh, take care of any insects that might have taken up residence in the soil around your roots. Simply prepare to put the entire pot into a bucket of water where you'll leave it for 15 to 20 minutes or more. And that way, any bugs that are there will either drown or swim away to save their lives. I'm likely to get somewhat wet doing this, but except for not wanting you to have to hear the well pump on this video, I filled the, uh, the bucket first. So now I've submerged the big pot in the pot of water, and I find that it floats. Remember, gardening is an experiment. So now I'm adding some bricks to the top of the pot in hopes of keeping it submerged. And that seems to be working. So we're just going to leave it for 15, 20 or so minutes and look at one of the other plants. This tri-star ginger has some definite leaf damage. We're going to prune off any of the leaves as low as we can go just to clean it up. And the leaves that we don't prune off, we will inspect carefully for any pests. Cutting off spent leaves gives the plant less to have to support. And one of the wisdoms I learned at Master Gardener School 
is that a damaged leaf does not improve. So basically, if it's damaged, cut it off and let some new growth have more energy. Both of these are spent. Looking better already, isn't it? in a heavy enough pot that you don't have to worry about that same problem. And it's about time to take the area out and see how we did. heavier than it was. At this point, I would like to clean up the top of the soil, add maybe an inch of fresh potting soil, let it drain some more, and then it's ready to um, bring in or uh, at least move into the shade. However, uh, gradual you want to be. I am usually not gradual. Uh, one thing you might want to do is give it a bath with your garden sprayer to clean off anything on the leaves that you might not have noticed. And just give it a bath before it goes inside. And that's it for that one. Also wanted to show you a true house plant. This is a Swedish ivy, and I have kept this generation of, uh, I kept this plant going for three, this is the third summer, and I have a pretty pot that can't get soaked, but does do better if you don't get it wet, and first things first, I will clean off Dead pieces. And any leaves that look damaged. Inspecting a Swedish ivy is more important, I think, than the other plants because it is susceptible to some common house plant pests. Um, susceptible to mealybugs and aphids. And no amount of uh, preparation for bringing it in has kept it perfect for me during the winter. So be prepared that you're going to have to keep an eye on your plants and treat them as you see problems arise. So this guy didn't have much damage this year. And well, pretty much we're going to just trade places. I'm going to change the water in my bucket, and I'm going to do the very same thing of submersing it in water, let it sit 15 to 20 minutes or so, and then bring it out. I tend to give it a bath with the mist sprayer before I take it inside. You do this reverse when the temps start warming up and stay much warmer than 50 degrees overnight. And if you're lucky, you should have overwintered plants 
to start you off next spring.